What's going on? It's your boy Bowie here. Back with some new Sub-Zero tech. I call this the mid-screen into Christmas clone 2.0 setup. So just in case you're new to this channel and this is your first time seeing one of these videos and you're a Sub-Zero main, let me introduce you to, to the Christmas clone 2.0 that I came up with. So you have to either be using Serena or Chameleon with Jade um, because they allow Sub-Zero to get meterless combos from 2-1, two, 1-2, one, one, two, or forward 1-2, or even the 50-50s, the, uh, okay? So here's Christmas Clone 2.0. Whoops, hold on, sorry. So Sub-Zero can get a hit confirm, any hit confirm. It's a double overhead, 1-1-2 one, one, in the air, clone. Then he gets a refreeze. And this is 60% right there. So the idea is that after you get your double overhead, you do 1-1-2, one, one, EX clone, and Sub-Zero. It has to be EX clone because regular clone goes away too fast. Okay? So combo into double back two. I keep doing regular clone instead of EX, sorry. And Sub-Zero can even throw the opponent into the clone for extra damage. So that's the Christmas clone 2.0. I want you to notice though, you have to be at or near the corner, or so I thought. I was under the impression that Sub-Zero got this situation when he was near the corner. What I've discovered today is that Sub-Zero actually gets that same situation all the way out from mid-screen. So watch this. That's pretty crazy. Now, I did spend two bars of meter for this. That I did do. However, you do not have to spend the second bar of meter on the uh, second EX clone. You can still do a regular clone and get an attempt on more offense. So watch this. Sorry. I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty ill. <laughs> that's pretty damn ill, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you might be wondering, what's the tech? So, let me explain it in, in a lot of detail. So, when Sub-Zero does the Ice Clone, he has to wait four seconds from the time that the clone goes away until he can do another clone, okay? However, when Sub-Zero does a combo into Air Clone, 
the EX clone, or not EX clone, but the timer for the clone cooldown starts when the opponent gets frozen. Okay, so... When they get frozen, that's when the clone cooldown begins. Now, that's important because that means that Sub-Zero doesn't have to wait as long in order to initiate another clone. But the issue is this. If I go and do a regular combo, notice I can't get a clone out immediately. So if I do a double back to clone combo, I have to wait, right? I discovered that that's not necessarily true. So watch this. If you just wait a second, hold on. You get two stance switches and then initiate your combo. Bruh. Not a messed up. <laughs> Stand switch. Okay, anyway, so what happens is when Sub Zero does his combo, you stand switch twice, and then you initiate the rest of your combo, or you finish your combo, I should say. And then I can get a clone immediately. And this works doubly if I spend bar on the EX clone. So if I do a combo into air clone and then I, wait, sorry. Notice you can wake up with a clone directly in the face, even though you previously used ice clone in a combo. That's the tech. So, for you Sub-Zero players out there that want to put people behind clones in the corner, you now have the means to do so. Now, I recommend Serena for this because, like I said, she allows you to initiate this from any hit confirm that Sub-Zero gets. You know what I'm saying? So if you just so happen to block somebody doing something unsafe and you catch them with subs mid. You can make them pay with their life. You see? That's over 70% of their bar from a stupid mistake. Okay, and because sub is using Serena, I don't even have to do back three clone or overhead clone in the corner. No, I could do something else. Notice I use the Serena demon. It does a little bit less damage, but it gives them a safe Christmas clone 2.0 situation. You see what I'm saying? And so that's why I made a video titling Serena as Sub-Zero's very best cameo, not just for the optimized mid-screen damage, but for her ease of use into this Christmas clone tech and now 
you can see that she allows him to do this even when he's mid screen. You see? So Sub Zero gets another 50 50 attempt. That's one bar right there. That's 75%. I'm just saying, this is pretty powerful stuff. So, you Sub Zero players out there, please don't be dismayed that our boy got nerfed and that he's seemingly not at the top of the proverbial food chain. He's much better than people think he is. And it's to our advantage for people to think that Sub-Zero is actually low tier. Let them keep thinking that. Because when they run into you in Combat League and you hit them with this tech, they'll be like, what the fuck? I didn't know Sub could do all of this. You're damn right. He's a member of the Lin Kuei. He's the Grand Master of the Lin Kuei. We are the Lin Kuei. We show our strength. And sometimes strength is silence. You know what I'm saying? But I'm sharing this tech with you so that you can be uh you can be aware. You can use this against people online, use this against your friends, use this against your ops, and get you some victories for our boy Sub Zero. Alright? But with that being said. I'll catch y'all later. One.